With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone. So we are given with a question which says a sinusoidal wave travels along a taut string of linear mass density 0.1 gram per centimeter. The particle oscillates along y direction and wave moves in the positive x direction. The amplitude and frequency of oscillation are 2 mm and 50 hertz respectively. So the minimum distance between the two particles oscillating in the same phase is 4 meter. Alright, so minimum distance has been given that is wavelength. Uh, so now we have to calculate the amount of energy transferred in joule through any point of the string in 5 second is so uh, we know uh, we have been given with a frequency as 50 hertz so we know number of waves passing through a given point in 1 second that is nothing but it is a frequency it has been given as 50 hertz all right now uh, for this we have to calculate when the wave one wave is uh, going from one point to another point or we can say when the one wave is crossing a particular given point on the string so the power that is transferred is uh, nothing but it is the average power this we have already uh, studied in theory so all right and for average power we can write the formula for average power we have already derived so let's recall that formula average power uh, transmitted by st string or transmitted by wave is given by so we can write p average will be equals to 2 pi square f square a square mu into v so this is what the formula for average power we have already derived all right so so this is what the average power equation we have already uh, derived so just we will use the formula over here to get it so we can write p average will be nothing but it is 2 uh, into pi square into f has been given as uh, 50 hertz so we can write it as 50 square into amplitude has been given as 2 mm that is 2 into 10 raised to minus 3 square into mu has been given as 0 0.1 gram per uh, centimeter so we can convert it into kg per meter so it comes out to be 0 0.01 into velocity so for velocity we can say velocity is given by the formula v equals to n lambda n is been given as 50 and lambda uh, is given as the minimum distance is nothing but it is the value of lambda that has been given that is 4 so v equals to n lambda using since we can write uh, v is equals to n lambda and here n has been given as 50 and lambda has been given as 4 so this comes out to be the 200 meter per second so we have substituted that so therefore from here we can say the value of p average comes out to be pi square by 25 joule so this is what the uh, power average power we have got but we are interested in finding the amount of energy transferred in 5 second so we know uh, power is nothing but it is transfer of energy per unit time all right so we can say from here we can write p average into time will give us the uh, energy that has been transferred all right so we can write this will give us the value of energy therefore from here we can say energy will be nothing but p average we have calculated it as pi square by 25 into time is given as 5 seconds so this value comes out to be pi square by 5 joule all right so this is what the energy transferred in 5 seconds we are getting and if we compare it with the options so option c is the right answer to this question so i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today